Let me take it a while, Professor Arnold. No, oh, stand back. Stand back. I best try go many locks. I have passed the donkey. <laughs> Please to remove offspring of Satan to some distant place. 
You know more want, donkey? Hat to shelter unfortunate head. More desirable. Oh! Hat! Hat! I am first class service. Some girls, they got gold watches. Some ain't got no watch. Oh, a hat wedding? Ah, if any snowshoe. There you is again, Miss. Ain't there no place where you ain't? Ah, this time, if any, I have big news for you. But first, boxes. Two bits, boxes, two bits. Oh, you might as well go on. I won't let you be getting no more black sheep money out of me. But wait. Today, I have located the grave of your sacred ancestor. Bakshish. Two bits, Bakshish. I know now, but you sure you done found the mummy of my great, great, grandpappy? No. Your great, 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 oh, great, you great, 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 too much. Huh? So I don't believe I'm going to let you talk me out of no more money. No. I am the best friend of my father. Mm -hmm. I supply all things for this noble gentleman. I am first great servant. Contradiction, please. For past two hours, I have not supplied drink. Drink you want drink? I'll give you a drink, Carla. Strong uh, enough. Pardon, please. For water to soothe dry throat would happily give much bakshish. Ah, uh, bakshish? Two. You mean you give two men for just some plain water? Drop of plain water on thirsty tongue. More precious than gold and purse. Well, Tom and I have got plenty of water in the tent on Yana. Yeah, I go get it. Ah, Bakshish, I'm first great servant. But you first great lap. You will soon have mummy of your great, 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 great grandpappy. Do you have ancestors in Egypt? Well, oh, Miss Fortune Teller down in Mississippi says this is that country where all my folks come from. Yes? As none Mr. Tommy and won me in a crap game, I come along to kind of look them up. Reverence of ancestors, most commendable. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Tom and them over here. Tom, uh, this gentleman you want to know, sir. So sorry to intrude, but would much appreciate a glass of water. Oh, of course. Snowshoes, water. Yes. This Egyptian sun, so they can get a fellow down. Have a seat. Thank you so much. Perhaps you'd like some tea. Oh, would be most grateful. You, you are Miss Arnold? Yes. And you are Mr. Tom Evans? How'd you know? Oh, snowshoes, of course. Sir? No, have met. Where? Your pictures in offices of French Archaeological Society in Paris. Please permit the introduction of a humble self, M. Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan? Oh, I yes. thought your face was familiar. How are you, Mr. Chan? I'm here to see your learned father. But father, he isn't here. If you're looking for mysteries, you've come to the right place, Mr. Chan. Miss Arnold has one all ready for you. Dad went away over a month ago. We've heard from him only once since he left. Oh, I know it must sound foolish, but I have the strangest feeling that something's happened to him. He hasn't been himself since he opened our mate's tomb. She's just making a mountain out of a molehill. Insignificant molehill. Sometime more important than conspicuous mountain. Professor Thurston, your uncle, he is here perhaps? No, he's in Luxor. We'll wait till the sun drops and then we'll all drive in together. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stick around, Snowshoes. My brother Barry. Beauty of Egyptian night captured in simple melody. Well, those native things are all right for a while, but one of these days I'm going to send home for some jazz. The old maestro stuff. The <laughs> outer.
Good evening, Mr. Armand. Uncle John returned. He's in the laboratory, but he heard your arrival in the car and will be up in a moment. Oh, wait, Ruth. Yes, Miss Arnold? Will you ask Nida to bring some cigarettes from my room? Certainly. You have one of mine. No, thanks. I prefer my own. We're going to the study, Mr. Chan. Smoke? Do not indulge. Huh? I've lost my glasses again. Hey, who am I? You mustn't mind if Uncle John seems a bit angry, Mr. Chan. He'll be all right when he gets his glasses. Ah, I thought I heard that old rattle trap of your driver, Tom. <laughs> it's enough to wake the dead. When archaeology pays bigger and better dividends, I'll get a new one. <laughs> Uncle John, this is Mr. Chan, Professor Thurston. How do you do? So pleased. Mr. Chan wanted to see Dad. I've explained his way. Oh, yes. Sit down, won't you? Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Was it on a matter of importance, Mr. Chan? Most important. Business with French Archaeological Society. Oh, then perhaps I can help you. I am in charge during my brother-in-law's absence. Oh, then we'll come to point quickly. The matter concerns valuable items taken from tomb of High Priest Ameti. In uh, just what way, Mr. Chan? Archaeological Society financed Professor Arnold's researches with understanding that all objects taken from tomb with the exception of those claimed by Egyptian government, become property of society museum. That's quite correct. Everything taken from the Ameti tomb is now in course of cataloging, in preparation for shipment. Correction, please. Valuable items taken from tomb, discovered six months ago, now in possession of private collectors and rival museums in Europe. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> Pardon, please. Here are photographs. This necklace with identifying seal of Ameti. This ring of Ameti, now in Berlin Museum. Then they're imitations. Why, we have a native craftsman, Ed Fuamat, who can duplicate things like those so closely that even an expert can't tell the difference. Pardon me, Bendy. <clears throat> Your glasses. Is that all for tonight? Yes, you may go. <laughs> I'm sure they're imitations, Mr. Chan. Experts have identified the necklace and ring as genuine. Do you mean that the society is accusing my father? So sorry. But society demands explanation. On what ground? They withdrew their financial support before the tomb was located. I, 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 I question their right to investigate anything. Contract very plain. Items from a meta tomb, property of French Museum. Must locate Professor Arnold. Well, I'd be glad to try again, Mr. Chan. Our last communication came from Napata in the Upper Nile, saying he wished to be undisturbed in his present work. He ignores our letters. Which isn't like Daddy at all. Articles from a meta tomb are here. Yes, in the laboratory. Would you care to see them? Much interested. Uh, Carol, uh, perhaps you'd better go to your room, dear. She doesn't like our work, Mr. Chan. I hate it. It's taken my father away from me. Something's happened to him, I know it. Please, dear. Can't you help me find him, Mr. Chan? You must. You've got to. If possible, we'll be most happy. <laughs> There, 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 there. Let Nida take you to your room, my dear. Hmm? I'm, I'm sorry. Good night. And thank you, Chad. She's quite upset, Tom. Perhaps you better phone for Dr. Racine. I think so, too. Uh, the laboratory is below, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much. A few of the more important items are here, Mr. Chan. The rest are in the storeroom. I'd be glad to check them with you at your convenience. That would be most helpful.
the X-ray machine? We have the most completely equipped laboratory in Luxor. This is a radiograph of a matey. Very interesting. Hands crossed in final sleep. Uh, Egyptian goddess? That is Sekhmet, goddess of vengeance. The ancients endowed her with many supernatural powers, Mr. Chan. Mm. Cannot believe a piece of carved stone can pain evil unless dropped on foot. Strange you should say that. May I ask why? Well, that's how Miss Arnold's brother nearly met his death, ten years ago. Oh. Ameti? This case holds all that remains of one of the most powerful priests of the 21st dynasty. The case has not been opened? No. You see it just as we found it. Very strange. What do you mean? Varnish. On 3,000 year old mummy case. Not completely dry. I don't understand this. Perhaps case has been opened. That's hardly possible. And yet. You're right, Mr. Chan. It has been tampered with. Would be most interesting to see inside. You may open it? No, yes. I wouldn't dare. Not without Professor Arnold's permission. He'd never forgive me. X-ray machine, most useful for seeing where I cannot reach. I'll get no shoes to give us a hand. See, I could carry you back to Mississippi with me and don't have to worry about no jobs there because I know a lot of white folks who could keep you working. Hey, no shoes. Sir? Come on in here. Make it snappy. Yeah, see. You go along now, kid, and I'll be seeing you. Maybe tomorrow night. Alaikum salam. Allah tifa. It's all right with me. I'll be seeing you now. Want something outside with me, Mr. Tom? Now, give us a hand here. I know, but... Do as you told. Well, I'm touching this thing. Slide it this way. Now, the feet toward the forest floor. Good. Now, lift, lift, lift. Slowly. Now, lower the feet. Lower them. Be careful. Now, now raise it. Raise it. Find the frame. Turn it. Oh, wait, till I, wait till I put the lights out. Can't be see better with the lights on. Quiet and don't touch anything. What's I touching nothing? Here we go, Professor. That's a media, all right. See? There's the identifying cartouche suspended around his neck. Very interesting. Please. May I display ignorance of Egyptian history by asking questions? Certainly. Did the high priest die natural death? The Amadi records indicate that he kicked off peacefully at the ripe old age of 78. Contradiction, please. I meant to die very violent death. How do you figure that? Observe. Modern bullet clearly revealed near heart. Say, that does look like a bullet. That settles it. What are you going to do? Open this case. But can I go now? No, get busy. Pour it down.
Professor Arnold. Look here, Professor. You're not going to say anything to Carol about this, are you? Confounded the current's off again. And it's Carol with the young. Look at what? Miss Sutton, it says. That was Carol. So they are helping you. What happened, Carol? I was writing a letter to Colonel Bailey at Napadar, asking him if he wouldn't try again to locate Father. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, my hands became icy cold, and my cigarette dropped to the floor. As I stooped to pick it up, everything seemed to stand still. I was frightened. I tried to cry out, but I couldn't. It seemed as though I were drifting into space. I got to my feet. I must have. The next thing I knew, I was standing in the middle of the room. And then, I saw it. Its horrible head coming toward me out of the darkness. The head of sickness. But Carol, dear, it could only have been your imagination. Of course, Carol, dear. It was only your imagination. I suppose it was only my imagination when the wall of Sarkis' tomb gave way and crashed me beneath it. Be quiet, will you? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'd forgotten. You're a courageous type who doesn't recognize fear. Well, I'm not, and neither is Carol. Be silent. A dozen others have died from opening their tombs. Why shouldn't we? Daddy, please! You know what I'm talking about, don't you? It's all our father's fault. He is the one who brought us into this land of decay and death. We hate him for it. It isn't true. Why pretend? You know you hate him as much as I do. Uh -huh. Barry, come with me. Why doesn't Father take us away from this dreadful place? Try to rest, dear. Good night's sleep will do you a lot of good. Staying with Barry for a little while? Certainly not. Thanks. Oh, Doctor, come in, come in. How's Carol? She she's had a terrible shock. A repetition of last week's experience. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Doctor Ressi, this is Mr. Chan. How do you do? So please. A most tragic thing happened tonight, Anton. We found Excuse, my... please. 
suggest Miss Arnold now more important. You're right, of course. She's in her room. Pardon me. Mr. Chan, Professor Arnold's death throws an entirely different light on the matter of your business in Luxor. Yes? I did dispose of those items from the Ameti tomb. You see, out of the society with Deutsch support, Professor Arnold needed funds to carry on the work. He borrowed heavily from Dr. Racine, who, after the tomb was finally located, quite naturally felt he was entitled to a share of the fine. Arnold was an archaeologist, not a businessman. And with the existing complications of his contract with the society, the only solution seemed to be that I dispose of a few of the less valuable items, enough to pay part of his obligation to the doctor. A decision had to be made, so I assumed the responsibility. Why did Professor go away? He was furious when I told him what I'd done. Meanwhile, having found evidence of a royal burial ground at Napatar, he decided to attempt locating the tombs, feeling that if he turned over their contents to the society, they would be amply compensated for what they lost from the Amati finds. Most commendable. I'm frightfully worried about Barry. Now, you're not to worry about anything except getting a little sleep. There. That's better. Miss Arnold isn't asleep within the hour. Give her another of those powders. Yes, Henry. Good night, my dear. Good night. You say obligation to Dr. Racine not fully paid? When Professor Arnold went away, Dr. Racine kindly consented to extend his note another 90 days. May I inquire what right this gentleman has to ask questions regarding a purely personal matter? Well, Mr. Chan represents the French Archaeological Society. And how does that concern me? Every detail most important where murder concerned. Murder? Professor Arnold is dead. I don't understand. Circumstance is very mysterious. Body found in a Mete mummy case with bullet near heart. That bullet was not the cause of his death, Mr. Chan. No? Please explain. There was trouble with the natives a few days after the Ameti tomb was opened. Professor Arnold was wounded. And the bullet not removed? No. Why not? Examination disclosed it was too near the heart to risk an operation. Perhaps I'd better. Please. Must touch nothing until after autopsy. Very well. Why should anyone have committed such a fantastic crime? Very strange. Were it not for bullet and body, might almost believe in power of ancient goddess. It's my father. He's dead, isn't he? Yes, Barry. I knew it. I've known it ever since he went away. He discovered the secret of Amelie's tomb in the dark waters of the forbidden places carried him to his death. Barry, what nonsense is this? He ignored the warning and it destroyed him. Just it will destroy us all. <laughs> here, here, this won't do. Pardon, must go. But first, may I have letter of Professor Arnold from Napata. Why, yes, I, I have it here. Thank you so much. Uh, good night. Good night, Mr. Chan. I'm so sorry. I'll drive you into Luxor. Oh, thank you so much, sir. See you in the morning, Professor. Why not put up with me while you're here? I've plenty of room. Hmm. Have the... Uh, Got extra pajamas? You bet I have. <laughs> then we'll be most grateful for hospitality. Well, here we are. Thank you so much. Yes.
beach at night now most peaceful. <laughs> Make yourself at home while I round up those pajamas for you. <laughs> Size 52, please. You take what I've got and like them. Thank you so much. May I make notes on writing machine? Sure, help yourself. You'll find some paper in the left-hand drawer. How are these? They tell look like zebra. <laughs> this is your bunk next to the wall. But back to wall can fight off demon of sleeplessness. What's the matter? Can't you read your own writing? Something here very strange. What? Professor Arnold go to Napata four weeks ago? Yes. According to date, this letter written two weeks ago. That's right. But Professor dead before letter written. Huh? Still more strange. Letter written here. On your machine. Now, wait a minute. After all. Observe, please. Similarity of type. See, they do look the same. Man who write that letter Kill Professor Arnold. Boy, it looks kind of bad for me, doesn't it, Mr. Chen? Reports of society indicate you were discharged by Professor Arnold. Yes, we did have a little argument about the uh, Mehdi hieroglyphics. Well, Professor Thurston took me back again a few days later. Who beside you use writing machine? Well, Thurston, Barry, Edfu Ahmed, even snowshoes. We all do. Edfu Ahmed. He is Egyptian? According to him, a direct descendant of Amethi. Young Mr. Arnold mentioned secret of Amethi tomb. Tomb has secret? Not that I know of. You see, the records indicate that Amethi was supposed to have collected the mummies and the royal paraphernalia of the 20th dynasty pharaohs for safekeeping. Yes. Professor Arnold thought that he had discovered the treasure when he opened the tomb. But it didn't pan out that way. He was still looking for it at the time he... Disappeared. Would much like to see a too. tomb. Tonight? Waiting for tomorrow. Waste of today. Let's go. Well, as usual, the battery's dead. Hey, snowshoes. Uh, Bring your flashlight. We're going to the tomb. Now, tonight? Yes, make it snappy. I never all them hands when we let them sleep nights. Nice. Put them all stirred up. No wonder they get mad and chills for us. If I was looking for you, you wouldn't be there. Close yourself. Come on, snowshoes. Yeah. There you light, Mr. Tom. All right, give us some of it down the steps. Hey, Mommy. Yeah. After y'all, gentlemen. Go on. Y'all coming too, ain't you? Yes, go ahead. Yes. Well, I'd like to know so I can see the lock. Yes, I'm just so cold, like. Yeah, you act like it. All right, turn on the power. Okay. I met the tomb equipped with modern convenience. Nothing too good for all of me. This is the ante room where we found a few important pieces. But it was in there we made our real discoveries. The mummy case was in this stone sarcophagus. Very interesting. From here, an image of Sekhmet kept watchful eye over old Amity. <laughs> all the good it did him. Uh, and that? Oh, that's the storage room. 
In here, we found a made his chariot, his bed, and the whole raft of personal effects. Even an alabaster jar that still carried the old with the perfume that it contained. Also very interesting. Uh, another room? No, this is just an unfinished passage. A matey probably died before his tomb was completed. Cat of Alice in Land of Wonder. Stops me. Somebody's gunning for us. As Sun Lee would say, you telling me? is a harmless sedative, Effendi, prescribed quite regularly by Dr. Anton Racine. Uh, Dr. Racine, uh, perhaps by Mapuchari here? No, no. I do not sell the drug at all. No? No. Thank you so much. Oh, Mr. I feeling so good this morning, yeah. Tonight, we go to burial ground and steal the mummy of your sacred ancestor. I know, I had the last night graveyard hands and me gonna be strangers, totally and complete. I am Vestrad Serpent. I am Vestrad Goman in Luxor. Good evening, Effendi. Good evening. Professor Thurston is... He's in the laboratory with Dr. Racine and the other learned gentlemen from Luxor. The anatomical investigation to determine the cause of Professor Arnold's death is in progress. Other learned gentlemen are police? The police, Evende. Ah. Thank you so much. Oh, pardon. May I ask a question, please? Certainly, Evende. Ancient Egyptians familiar with the facts of uh, Mapuchari? The ancients had knowledge of many things. Of uh, Mapuchari? Perhaps so. I could not say. No. Thank you so much. Good evening, Mr. Chan. Good evening. That will be all, Your Excellency, may I present Mr. Chan? His Excellency, Fuad Sweeter of the Police Department in Luxor. So please. Pleasure indeed, Mr. Chan. But under unfortunate and most perplexing circumstances. Cannot read printing in new book until pages cut. Oh, yes. 
Uh, Professor Thurston has explained that you have been good enough to interest yourself in the case. We will be most grateful for the benefit of uh, such assistance as you may be able to offer. Very pleased to cooperate. I am certain matter now in most efficient hands. Oh, thank you. I believe that is all for now. I will make him my report at once. Good night, Doctor. Good night, sir. Good night, Mr. Chan. Good night. Oh, you have a list of articles from my method too? Oh, yes. I had Ethel Ahmed preparing for you today. If you'll excuse me. You have determined cause of death? Yes. There's evidence that a heavy blow at the base of the brain induced a cerebral hemorrhage. Also find small incision at jugular vein? Yes. Made for purpose of uh, draining blood to mummify body. That seems rather an obvious conclusion. Conclusion also obvious. Operation performed by hands of experts. A sharp knife in the hands of any intelligent person could accomplish the same thing. And many intelligent persons afraid even to touch sharp knife. Bullet near heart removed? Of course not. Professor Thurston explained last night that it had nothing to do with Arnold's death. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, memory very bad sometimes. You have a theory about this, of course. Uh, theory, like mist on eyeglasses, obscures facts. Our local authorities have very clear vision, Mr. Chan. You'll find them most helpful. Yes. Thank you so much. There's no reason for us staying in Egypt now. Now, don't you worry. It's just a matter of a little while until we can get things settled here, and we'll all be going home. Shall I ask him to stop? No, please don't. It seems to take his thoughts off all that's happened. Tom, I'm worried about Barry. This superstition of the tomb, it's... It's beginning to affect his mind. Oh, Carol. I didn't know that you and Tom had returned. We only took a short walk. You won't mind if I go in now, dear, will you? Of course not. Good night. Good night. How's she feeling, Tom? She's worried over Barry. He's letting that foolishness about Sekhmet scare the life out of him. With all that's happened, you can hardly blame the boy. So sorry to intrude. Did you find the list of items correct, Mr. Chang? Thank you so much. Then if there's nothing else this evening... Uh, please. Time now to discuss matter of great importance. Yes. May I ask a question, please? Oh, certainly. Uh, can explain, perhaps, uh, effects of drug, Mapchari? Well, the effects depend largely on the individual. Yes. In general, the victim loses all sense of time and reality. He suffers from false convictions, hallucinations. The doses are sufficiently powerful. Death ensues. That is perhaps explanation. Explanation of what, Mr. Chan? Strange mental condition of Miss Arnold last night. You mean she was drugged? Analysis of cigarettes today disclose Mapuchari. What? Surprise. You did not recognize the symptoms which you described so clearly, Doctor. This is incredible. Why should anyone do such a thing? Problem still to be solved. Perhaps Mr. Barry has answered. What do you mean? Remarks made last night 
suggest he know where father was searching for secret treasure. That knowledge most dangerous. Important we speak with Mr. Barry at once. Very well. He's dead. Dead? Apparently violent reaction of the heart. This may be occasioned by sudden shock or terrific fright. But what could have caused it? We were all on the patio. We saw nothing. Gods of Egypt are powerful gods. Their vengeance is taken, Professor Arnold, and now his son. What do you know of the death of Professor Arnold and Barry? Sekhmet's warning was not heeded. Excuse, please. Avenging God is not responsible for Mapuchari in cigarettes? I know nothing of that. Who supplies cigarettes for Miss Arnold? Why, you. You buy those cigarettes? Tom, call the police. Don't move, Fendi. The police cannot help you now. This household is marked for death. Stay where you are, Appendix. You knew there was danger? Then you must have suspected this madman? Why didn't you warn us? Your carelessness is responsible for that boy's death. Most regretful. Impossible to prepare defense until direction of attack is known. Shall I call the police? Yes. One moment, please. May call police if you so desire, but shall continue investigation in own way. Extend deepest sympathy. Good night. I'll be back later. Jeff. Yes? What are you going to do now? Have curiosity to visit tomb where Goddard's segment mysteriously disappeared last night. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Snowshoes, come on with that light. Yes, sir. I was seeing if anything was behind us before it getting there ahead of us. Go ahead. Have made search for secret way out? We've checked every inch of the place a dozen times. This was the storage room? Yes. Hieroglyphics and symbols different from other rooms. You know meaning? Well, that upper border is a maiden's prayer to the goddess Sekhmet for protection. And uh, these? Merely ornamentation. The design alternates with the symbols expressing life and death, and so on across. Story of man very short. Light, death. Light, death. I'm reminded of ancient sage, Confucius, who writes, uh, from life to death is reach of man. Observe. Well, that's good logic, all right, but it doesn't get us anywhere. Most peculiar. Ghost of segment disappear in room of mystic symbols. Both together. Mr. Tom, you're throwing up them hands again. Can you have a grave? Secret waters, which Mr. Barry mentioned last night. Searchers, bring the light. Yes, sir. Say, do you think Barry really knew about this? Hasty conclusion needs to make, like hole in water. I wonder who that was masquerading as segment. Murderer of Professor Arnold, who tried to frighten us from tomb.
Observe. Direction of current indicate water flow under rock. If there's a current, that means this water comes from the Nile. It's a sense there's something on the other side. Good swimmer could maybe dive under, find out? That might try. But, Mr. Tom, you ought to dive in them hands swimming holes. Why, it's no shoot. Would recommend extreme caution. Now don't worry about me. Waterproof. Thanks. I mean, I have to hold your breath and you don't know how long. Well, here goes. Hey, Mr. Tom, you forgot to take off your wristwatch. What are you? Look, Mr. Chang, he must have made it all right. Mr. Tom, that you? Mr. Tom? Oh, please. Yeah, because we all are waiting for we know where we go from. Look. Mr. Tom? Oh, Help, please. Must get Mr. Evans to doctor at once. Yeah. Excuse, please. Professor Thurston gone long? He went into Luke, sir, to see the police. Oh. Mr. Chan. Yes? I hope Effendi Evans will get well. Kind thoughts add favorable weight in balance of life and death.
Professor Thurston has returned? No, Fendi. Inform, please. We'll be in laboratory. Is it going to be all right, Doctor? He has a very good chance. I don't know what to suggest, Your Excellency. Would you care to start your investigation in Barry's room? All in good time, Professor. I shall take care of everything. Pardon, Fendi. Mr. Chan is waiting for you in the laboratory. Mr. Chan? I thought you told him to go. Will you please come with us, Your Excellency? What are you doing here, Mr. Chan? Pardon intrusion of unwelcome presence, but have learned something of great interest. His Excellency will be judge of that. Most happy to have Excellency's distinguished opinion. Uh, also of Miss Arnold, if you will be so kind. Very well, Mr. Chan. Your prying into our affairs has brought us nothing but misfortune. First it was Barry, and now it's Tom. What happened to Tom? The attempt made on life tonight in Nameti tomb. Two bullets in chest. Where is he? Oh, wait, please. He's still unconscious. Dr. Chapur is with him now in the guest room. You had no right to expose Tom to such danger. We look to you for protection which you haven't given us. I'll have to ask you to leave, Mr. Chan. That is already arranged. His Excellency is taking charge. Thank you. Regret humble efforts have been unsuccessful. Admitting failure like drinking bitter tea. One last request. Permission, please, to perform a simple demonstration. Thank you so much. Sealed tube like this could contain enough gas to cause death. That would depend upon the kind of gas used, also the amount inhaled by the victim. At time of death, Mr. Barry playing violin. Observe a hole through which murderer insert tube of deadly gas into sound box. All very interesting, Mr. Chan. But how could your murderer have broken the tube while Barry was playing? Murderer, very ingenious. He knew scientific fact that very thin glass vibrate to certain sound. We'll demonstrate. <laughs> While playing, Mr. Barry's face directly over sound vents. Inhale deadly gas. Die almost instantly. You have established a motive of Mr. Chan? Motive for murders of professor and son? Very clear? Uh, of course. Uh, what is it? Discover hidden room in tomb tonight. Also, clothing. Oh, Professor Arnold. Then he did find the Amity treasure. Yes. And uh, someone else having same knowledge. Kill Professor to keep treasure for self. Then, when murderer believe, son Barry also no secret, kill him too. And to Amit. That explains his ravings about the vengeance of Sigmund. Head mask of goddess, 
also found mask used by murderer to frighten intruders away from tomb. When device fail, murderer resort to more practical methods. Bullets, as in case of Mr. Tom Evans tonight. Did Mr. Evans see you fire the shots? Bullet mark on flash lamp prove light focused on guilty man. Then I must talk to him at once. Excuse, please. Must not disturb at present. When conscious, Mr. Evans will name murderer. Case now in your hands, Excellency. Goodbye, uh, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Well, Your Excellency? It is a really very simple matter. All we have to do now is to capture Ed to Ahmed and have a Mr. Uh, Evans identify him. Mr. Chan. Yes? If I've been rude, I, I owe you an apology. I resented your attitude of suspicion. I didn't realize how cleverly you were handling this matter. Thank you so much. You don't seem to realize you are dealing with a fanatic, a madman. Etu Ahmad must be captured dead or alive. And send two of my men here to keep watch outside. Yes, yes. Immediately. Sorry to keep you waiting, Your Excellency. These are in my room. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Yes, Doctor. Is Dr. Racine still here? Why, I think you'll find him in the patio. Then, with your permission, I shall leave the patient in his care. Uh, how soon will I be able to talk with Mr. Evans, Doctor? It may be some time before he recovers consciousness, Your Excellency. Hmm. Then there's nothing to do but wait. Good evening, Dr. Racine. Good evening. I trust you understand. Uh, this emergency required immediate attention. And you were not available. Certainly. I'm very glad that Mr. Evans was in such capable hands. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. I'm sorry I startled you. One of my lancets is missing, and I thought perhaps Dr. Jaipur might have borrowed it and left it here. I'm sure I don't know. Have you noticed any change? He seems all right. Oh, he must get well. Would you mind opening the window a little, please? Recovered consciousness? Not yet. He has a slight temperature, but that's to be expected. Then, if there's no immediate danger, you better get some rest, dear. But, Uncle John, I... Now, Carol, remember you've been ill. Come, let me get you something to make you sleep. I'm all right. Now, don't worry. I'll let you know the moment there's any change.
get back shortly. knife on table. Here are you police, Mr. Chang. Thank you so much. What has happened, Mr. Chan? And where did you find that lancet? It was missing from my case. thought to insert Lancet into bullet wound, to make silent only witness who could accuse you. But what about Edfu Ahmad? Entirely innocent. Fanatic devotion to resting place of ancestors provide excellent shield for real murderer. You killed Professor Arnold for Ahmeti treasure. You drugged Miss Carol's cigarettes to discount anxiety over disappearance of father. Later, when Mr. Barry appeared to have knowledge of treasure, killed him also to keep secret. And tonight, shoot Mr. Evans when he recognized you in tomb. A bullet which wound Professor Arnold six months ago, and one which wound Mr. Evans tonight, fired from same gun. Your gun. Take him away. You have been very helpful, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much. Most grateful for very able assistance. It was terrible sitting here waiting, wondering how your plan would work out. Courage, greatest devotion, to those we love. Goodbye, appendix no shoes. Yes, but where you go from here? You... Journey of life, like feather on stream, must continue with current. Yes. I guess you're right, but I'm going with you. 